So this is going to be one of our final vlogs from Chilton of the year. It was not proper English at all. <laughs> uh, there are currently 11 cars for my For the division. four cylinders, yeah, which unfortunately is one of the highest car counts. That is not true. It really is. We had 14 before, 15. No, 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 I'm saying for the entire, for everybody here. Oh, yeah, for tonight, um, my class is actually the... Second highest, I think. No, it's the first highest. No. Yeah. No, because the division F, you had more cars. Nuh-uh. Yeah. But anyways, most of the guy or a lot of drivers went to either Seymour or Beaver Dam tonight because they have a bunch of big specials. Beaver Dam's running late miles for the first time in nine years. Okay, correction. The division after me has one extra car. But yeah, so like the modifieds here have like six cars. And then Beaver Dam on the other hand is like 38 modifieds. Like no exaggeration. So yeah, basically... It's gonna be an interesting night. It's gonna, for us. yeah, it's gonna go very quick. So who knows? Maybe we'll be able to book it out of here and make it to Beaver Dam in time for the features. I'm kidding. I wish. Uh, well, my main concern is that the track actually has a lot of water. Yeah, like they water spots, they water, like puddles. Yeah, they watered the track even though they had already packed it in, so all the water's just kind of sitting on top right now. Yeah, their literal puddles is quite um, terrifying yeah, and very slippery. Uh, yeah. Uh, even walking down there was um, a task. And yeah, with unfortunately only having basically four heat races ahead of her, and that's only three of those are actually big power cars. And they don't even have a lot of cars either. Yeah, exactly. Like six or seven cars per heat, and there's only one heat for each. So, needless to say, my uh, heat race is not going to be fun. But the future might be. I might get lucky with the future. Yeah. Just surviving at this point. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll get some more racing in this weekend. Uh, Wisconsin Legends Championship Night is on Sunday at 141. And then we run, obviously, Saturday at Beaver Dam. That one really doesn't mean too much. I'm second in the points, but I really don't care. We went into the season saying we weren't going to run for points at all, so... It just happens that I'm there because I keep running so well, I guess. Watch now tomorrow night, I'll go and flip the thing. It's not even funny. It's not even funny to joke about. It's kind of funny. Not. No, because now when when we when I do flip it tomorrow night, we can look back and say, "See, look, he predicted it." Don't give me that look. He, I don't give people looks. I don't give people looks. Here, let's turn around. But yeah, so we're just kind of you know in the hurry up and wait mode. It's a lot of fun. At least it's pretty out, and it's nice and windy, but it's not like the cold wind where it is excruciating it's more like the pretty wind it feels good, really nice yeah it's some pretty good fall classic weather unfortunately yeah. we're still in august it feels fairly. rather nice but yeah um i'm gonna put some photos in here right now of natalie's car after the heat race last week hey yeah exactly yeah you can see how bad it was that's from her hitting the wall in the heat race um she ran one lap in the feature and then pulled off because the car didn't handle right so tonight we're just hoping to make it to the feature like i said there's only like for the record, though, I was running first for my heat race before I hit the wall. Just saying. Just adding that in there. But yeah, so, I mean, there's only, like I said, 11 cars, so, you know, it is what it is. And you're currently, what, like, 8th in points or whatever? I think I'm 7th. Yeah. I think I'm 7th in points. But he thinks I'm 8th. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find out after tonight. Yeah, it really doesn't matter at all until yeah. the night's over with, so. Yeah, I mean, the year is going to be over, so... Well, for the regular season, and then for fall the classic season, season yeah. starts, and we'll probably run here for one of them, and then maybe the week after at 141. But we'll have to see if we a survive here, and then b can get off of work for the one following that. Yes, it depends. It depends. So yeah, um, I think we're all caught up. Yeah. Um. We'll see you later, I guess. Bye. How'd the heat race go? Uh, very, very, very wet. And muddy. That's about it. 
I'll try to remember to post photos of the track. Yeah. yeah. As we discussed earlier, there were puddles on the bottom. No, not even the modifies were running the bottom. So it was pretty much kind of one groove right in the middle. It was quite bad. Very bad. Yeah. It's, every time I tried, like, giving it gas, it just would slide either up or down the track, depending on where I was. And the corners were okay for a little bit, but then it was just, my tires wouldn't grip. It was just sliding. It's like when you're on, when you're getting out from the um, stoplight and you're trying to go and your tires just spin, you can't go. That's just literally how it was for the whole track. Every lap. Any plans for the future? Don't crash. It's really a choice I have.
started 10th and you finished 7th, I wouldn't consider that a bad job. Bad. I did bad. I lost my glasses and I can't see. Okay. 